My ultrawide continues to wow me with its excellent picture quality and is great for watching movies with its 21 by 9 aspect ratio. But the vibrant, saturated colours of setups on the Lightpack subreddit got me interested in dynamic backlighting for my own monitor. The parts required for my setup were all purchased from AliExpress, coming to around £20. The heart of these components are the WS2812B LED strips which run on 5 volts and allow each LED to be individually controlled. I grabbed 3 meters of the 30 LED a meter variant, totaling to £7.50, which is around $10. I'd recommend measuring the back of your monitor to make sure that you order the right amount. Powering the LEDs is a 5 volt, 5 amp power supply, and it's the cheapest I could find on AliExpress that didn't look like it was about to burn my house down. Finally, I picked up an Arduino Pro Micro for £3 to control the LEDs via USB. To start, I laid the towel on my desk to protect my monitor while I worked. Then I measured and cut my LED strips so I knew they were the right length. I used small pieces of tape to secure the LED strips so I can ensure I left room for the wiring. Keep in mind the LEDs only work one way round and use the arrows to line them up. I left the included connector on one end of the LED strip so I could use the included matching connector to disconnect the Arduino and power supply. It's hard to follow someone soldering, so here's a wiring diagram of how the connector is wired to the Arduino and power supply. Solder the green data wire directly to the Arduino. I chose pin 5. The red 5 volt connection can be made directly to the power supply, and the ground connection goes to the power supply as well but it needs to stop off on the way to connect to one of the Arduino's ground pins. By comparison, wiring the LED strips is very easy. Just take three short pieces of straight wire to connect each LED strip to the previous. I took the LED strips off of my monitor before soldering them, so I didn't risk melting the back panel. Now is a great time to test your LED strips with the test code that's linked in the description. When installing your LEDs, take your time, it's easier to get this right and not have to remove them again. There's a link in the description for the Arduino software which we need to program the Arduino. Once downloaded, extract the fast LED library to your Arduino's libraries folder. Take the script from in the description and edit the number of LEDs to the number on the back of your monitor as well as changing the LED pin to pin 5. Finally, download Prismatic and follow the installation and setup instructions 